We keep becoming more and more dependent upon technology and all it takes is one little glitch, one little update to throw the whole world in chaos and that happened today. If you was flying a plane, you was working in a hospital, you was working in a bank, anywhere with some sort of um, IT system, you was affected by this global meltdown and this just really goes to show that we got to get back to analog on certain things. We cannot have our whole economy and have our whole world systems all tied up computers. I know computers that made things efficient, I know it made it easiest for use but look how stuff like this happens all right and the whole friday got meltdowns you see the um pictures and the videos of people in the airports i just got stuck in the vegas airport last week it was not fun i was there for 12 hours but seeing these people get stuck massive flight delays all over the board it just goes to show that we are becoming too dependent upon these computers and these technology and it's literally one company this company called crowdstrike they had an update that they was doing on a Friday. Why are you doing an update on computers on a Friday anyway? Y'all supposed to be going home before that. So one little update they had on the Microsoft Windows system and it all went down. It all went down. That's why y'all don't use Windows. I use Mac. That's why I use Mac. All the Mac systems is up and running and good. That's why you need to get you a Macintosh and an Apple. You already got Apple phones and things. What the hell y'all be using Windows and Windows 95, whatever y'all was using, and then made the whole global economy crack? You couldn't go to banks. You couldn't get health care. Certain people that had life-saving um, surgeries had to get postponed today. So the impact of this is going to be crazy, and we're going to see it in the next couple of weeks, in the next couple of days. Like, literally, people, imagine you had surgery today. For surgery, you've been in pain, you desperately need, and they say, hey, we gotta move your surgery back because computers is down. Again, all of this is really gonna show that we are becoming too independent upon technology and these computers and these companies. These companies have so much power over our digital lives and, and I mean, I also have so much power over our digital lives because y'all know I am AI. So again, the AI is just gonna make this problem even bigger, okay? What if one system goes down, the whole nation goes down? You couldn't get money out the bank, you couldn't go to the doctor, you couldn't catch an airplane, you couldn't take a train, and cybersecurity systems, this is um, hackers, this is what they was waiting for, a vulnerability in the system where they able to just slip right in. So imagine how many hackers, when this system is down right now as we speak, um, is trying to hack in and using back doors to get in here. Listen, I'll tell y'all, the future is going to look like Terminator mixed with a little um, Ready Player One and a bunch of other stuff. We letting robots and computers really control our whole lives. Like, literally, if these systems can be taken down once with a cyber attack, this is what's going to happen. So I think this was some sort of trial run. They saying it was a update, a little glitch. But how could a glitch affect global systems this crazy? And whoever they, they glitched, you get fired today. If you ever want to get fired, imagine how much money was lost today. They had to cancel. Every airport had to cancel flights in America and other places in the world, bro. That's Matthew. They had to play the pilots. They had to pay the um, flight attendants and a bunch of people that came into work today on a Friday. They already didn't want to come into work on a Friday. And now y'all got the systems down. Why am I here? And you got to, again, you work in that crowd, I'm strike. I don't work there. I, I, I just do computers. I ain't even going to say I work there because you the CEO. Y'all y'all publicly traded company. Y'all better short them right now because they stock is going to get hit on Monday, boy. They losing hella contracts. And in Microsoft, just the optics. Like, if I'm a, a big thing, I'm going to Apple. Like, I'm going to get some Apple service, um, some NVIDIA service, something else. Like, uh, Microsoft, I don't know. It looked crazy. Again, I think this is a trial run for something. Y'all know it's Conspiracy Theory Corp. I think this is a trial run. Y'all, y'all shut everything down. Literally, and this is literally what happened if we got hit by cyber warfare. I need y'all to understand that this is the future, literally. Somebody could press one wrong button, one wrong update, because they got the master code. They inside the database of all the government, all the agencies, all the backdoors. They run the servers and everything. One little button, somebody spill a cup of coffee on a monitor or a keyboard or something on the top of a key on a computer. And now you got global instability. Literally, imagine you taking a flight today. You, got, you And it's Friday. You messing up my flight on a Friday. When I just paid for my vacation, yo, the lawsuits is gonna be crazy, bro. It's ain't again. This is so much money. You know, it's so much money. You can't even be like, yo, my bad, my bad. I ain't mean for the clothes. A global um computer meltdown. How you again? How do you? You gotta put your you fire. You just leave your key card on your desk, and we'll see you later. Your credentials at the door. That because that's absolutely crazy. But again, get you an Apple. Like, I don't know why I got a Windows 95 on these systems anyway. I, I can't even remember last time I used a Windows computer. I don't even know how to use a Windows computer. That's crazy. If I was, again, I would, I would get the hang of it after sitting there for a while, but it's been so long. Can we talk about it? Which I think this was. I think this was a test run on something bigger. 
Can we talk about it?